This month on Images. The Physical Education Center gets physically fit. Three plus one equals an affordable bachelor's degree for students. And the College of DuPage Foundation pays tribute to an honorable man. All of that and more on this edition of Images. Hi, I'm Rio Almaria, admission representative at College of DuPage. Welcome to Images, the program that keeps you up to date on what's happening here at COD. With funding from two separate referendums, the transformation of COD's physical spaces includes upgrading and renovating existing facilities in addition to new building projects. Renovations to the Physical Education Center will put this facility in tip-top shape to meet the future educational and recreational needs of the students and the community. The PE building is being remodeled essentially to better serve the four businesses that occur in the building. There is physical education, academics, the athletics, the rental uh, services that we have, the home shows, um, and the commencements. And it, there's also the fitness aspect, the, the fourth leg of that business model that the building currently houses. Uh, the fitness area itself is far um, undersized for the amount of capability and the amount of use that it gets right now. It was added as a, a branch out of the south entrance to the building and uh, during the renovation that existing fitness building will be removed completely to make way for the south entrance. The new fitness area will be about 11,000 square feet on the upper what they call plaza level that will serve both student and membership clientele with uh, new exercise equipment, new um, stretching and cardio areas, uh, new monitors throughout sound system. So we'll really be, a, um, it'll be a progressive fitness center for years and years to come. Schedule for the project is uh, we're anticipating going out to bid somewhere in the window of July 1st through August. We expect to go into board approval, board of trustee approval in July and August for beginning construction in September. We anticipate after Labor Day to begin the renovation. Uh, at that point, we'll start tearing into the locker rooms in the pool area. Existing auditorium spaces uh, contain a diving well and a competition length pool. The new natatorium will house a, the same competition length pool however be relocated 60 feet to the west. The diving pool will be removed from the facility and in its place will be the new south lobby entrance. The lobby entrance will be a grand entrance to the building and it'll be what we consider the heart of the building. Uh, the heart will serve the three major areas that uh, will uh, consist in this building. The new athletic addition is 14,000 square feet of essentially the athlete's locker rooms, the physical therapy area, which will be a, a brand new space that's dedicated strictly to the physical therapy uh, specialists that are there serving the athletes and it is the farthest east entrance into the building. We did that to better serve all of the eastern uh, areas that uh, are athletic fields, the soccer areas, the football. Uh, we wanted to have the physical therapy and repair area very close to those uh, soccer fields in case we had someone that needed attention they could go right in the building without having to traverse the entire section. The 40,000 square foot arena is going to be resurfaced. We'll replace the existing wood floor with a new uh, logo embodied into the, into the wood and the wood has seen a great deal of wear since its first installation. We'll replace that wood completely and around that wood is a mondo surface that will also get torn up completely and we'll put it down with a new um, softer mondo surface that will allow better running, better wear and tear on, on the users and the athletes. The flow of the building has changed dramatically. Uh, 
The, when the building was built, there was very little access into the building from the south end. There was almost no sidewalk as an entry to the, to the south end of the building because it was essentially an athlete's entrance. We actually had a football practice field on the south side of that building. Although since the building was built in November of 1983, uh, that has developed into a primary entrance to the building. Over 80% of the people going into the PE building come in from the south. So we wanted to address that. And right now they walk kind of into a cavernous space and there's dark quarry tiles and dark corridors that we wanted to open up. So with this new south lobby, what we'll do is we'll liven that space, put a lot of glass and energy into it. Uh, we'll have a grand staircase up to the fitness area. And at the same time, we'll address the corridors, which right now are offsets and zigzags to the, to the racquetball courts and the locker rooms. What we're, we're doing is we're straightening those corridors. So it'll strictly be a north, south, and east, west main corridors that we'll be able to access offices, the locker rooms, um, and the fitness areas up on the north side. Witness the transformation and see how COD's improvements can benefit you. We invite you to visit us in person or on the web at cod.edu. with COD. Choose your own adventure this summer through COD's Field and Experiential Learning and Study Abroad program. Take an art class in Italy, study wildlife and ecosystems in Costa Rica, or build your communication skills in the Hawaiian wilderness. The world is your classroom. For more information, call 630-942-2380 or visit us online at cod.edu. With new educational partnerships between College of DuPage and several prominent universities, the students in a growing number of disciplines have streamlined options for earning both an associate's and a bachelor's degree. It's called a 3 plus 1 agreement, and for students, 3 plus 1 adds up to substantial tuition savings and convenience while earning a four-year degree. The 3 plus 1 programs at College of DuPage are all about three pillars of reaching out to our students and those are number one academic excellence and the quality of our partners. Uh, number two would be making a bachelor's degree uh, more accessible for our students and encouraging that transfer path at an earlier time. And then third would be the affordability factor. Uh, a number of our students have probably not pursued a bachelor's degree in the past because of looking at where to go and how much it's going to cost. Uh, whether it's public or a private uh, four-year university. Now in terms of the specific programs, um, the way those work is that a student needs to be an associate degree completer here at COD and then they can continue on and take additional College of DuPage courses in their third year, stay right here on campus and the receiving institution, the 3 plus 1 partner, will accept those credits uh, towards the bachelor's degree beyond the associate degree and at the same time during that third year they can get started on their advanced level courses that the bachelor's degree institution provides and they bring those classes here. So our students will never have to leave COD's campus to be able to complete a bachelor's degree and then what we wrap around that is a really neat package of incentives and services. 
and the incentives are about the reduced tuition rate that's offered by the partner institution. It's about waiving of some of their fees. Um, it's also the fact that our students are comfortable and they know College of DuPage and they've been going to college here and they can just keep on going. We also look at the services. Those partner institutions will right away start having an advisor and recruitment people coming to our campus to build the relationships with those students that are in the pipeline. And then what happens is that the student gets great customer service and, and support for their COD coursework, but they've already started to establish a relationship with the four-year partner institution. Feedback has been fantastic. First off, on our Facebook page, the number one topic that students go on that page and talk about are the three plus ones. So it's generating a lot of excitement, but the attendance of students coming to the information sessions, those are advertised for all of our three plus one partners, and the students are following through. They're showing up, they're coming in, they're saying, I want to know more, I want to do this. Um, our faculty have been very supportive and they've been promoting it in the classes that they teach and saying this is a great opportunity for you. It's not just been the quantity, it's been the quality of the responses uh, that students are taking it very seriously. <music> Lastly, I would say in this day and age we all know that the economic challenges continue for a lot of families uh, that maybe thought they would never be in this position. And so you have to be smart about going on and getting a college education. We really feel like we're doing a service to the community that is predicated on our mission of outreach and making sure that we meet people where they are and then we figure out what we can do to serve them. And if that involves a partner, then so be it. We'll bring a good partner here and we're really proud of the schools that we're working with for three plus ones. Learn more about these unique, affordable study opportunities from College of DuPage and our partner institutions. Find links to details and contact information for 3 Plus 1 programs under academics at cod.edu. Connect with COD. Learning happens anytime, anywhere with COD Online. Choose from nearly 200 courses spanning 41 disciplines, all designed to provide you with high quality instruction, support services, flexibility, and convenience. COD offers more online options than any other Illinois community college to help you achieve your educational goals. For more information, call 630-942-2380 or visit us online at cod.edu. The College of DuPage Foundation hosted a dedication ceremony for the mock courtroom in the Homeland Security Education Center. Coming up next, learn more about the man this instructional space is named after. I think Judge Bauer really represents the real proud, rich history of DuPage County. I think it's terrific that this facility uh, bears Judge Bauer's name because what it's doing is honoring a very special jurist. He is somebody who takes being a judge very, very seriously. He's also somebody who doesn't take himself very seriously. That could well be one of the greatest lessons that I learned from him. He really has developed a unique and a remarkable reputation as someone who you can go and seek counsel from. You'd be hard pressed to find any other judge in America on the federal bench today whose breadth of experience was as broad and as deep as Bill Bowers. The Honorable William J. Bauer of the Seventh Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals has enjoyed a distinguished legal career, one that has spanned 60 years. After two years' service in the Army, Judge Bauer enrolled at Elmhurst College in 1947, 
graduated, then went on to earn his J.D. from DePaul University College of Law in 1952. His career began as a local prosecutor, and after serving as state's attorney and as a DuPage County Circuit Court judge, Bauer earned his first of two federal appointments. In 1971, President Richard Nixon named him for a seat on the district court. Three years later, President Gerald Ford appointed him to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. He served as chief judge in the Seventh Circuit from 1986 to 1993 and assumed senior status in 1994. Judge Bauer continues to manage an active caseload. It is enjoyable to exercise your mind, you stay up to date on things, and you meet people constantly and learn new problems. As long as I think that I'm making a contribution, and I rely on my brothers and sisters of the bench and the lawyers to tell me when that stops. I'm willing to come and do it. I still look forward to coming to work every day. Perhaps one of the most inspiring aspects of Judge Bauer's dedication to his profession is his commitment to higher education and his belief in the value of mentoring. The spirit of education, achievement, and professional growth were embodied by Judge Bauer's ability to recognize young talent and groom them for success. The most remarkable part of his commitment to education has been um, his mentoring. Uh, he's famous for mentoring young people, maybe people that aren't so young, but people who are interested in public service. I consider the single most significant day of my career the day I walked across his threshold. I learned everything I needed to know about being a gentleman from my father. I learned about being a gentleman in the law from Bill Bauer. My wife, after we've been married 10 years, went to law school. Our three daughters have gone to law school. All of them have clerked for Bill Bauer. And frankly, we've talked over once or twice about how uh, would it be some value for the girls to go clerk for somebody else or to get that exposure someplace else. And the answer keeps coming back. No, because the education you can get about being a lawyer in today's world and a sense of how the law has become what it is today from when he started is worth it. I think it's important for those of us in the legal community, those judges who we look up to and respect are those who ask questions in a very respectful and civil way. And Judge Bauer, of all people, sort of serves as a symbol uh, and example of that throughout his career and I think it's something that we all aspire to in the profession. Throughout my career, uh, he's always remembered me, he's always had a warm handshake in anything I've seen him at, and uh, he was one of my sort of first supporters in that way, so when I learned that they were uh, seeking sponsors in connection with the College of DuPage courtroom, I was uh, more than happy to be one of the sponsors. In the spring of 2010, College of DuPage broke ground on one of its most ambitious construction projects, the Homeland Security Education Center. The HEC houses COD's criminal justice and fire science programs, as well as the COD Police Department and the Suburban Law Enforcement Academy. This building is a unique space and resource where theory and practice converge under one roof. From paramedic to paralegal, Students learning at the HEC take advantage of unparalleled hands-on training that goes far above and beyond the traditional classroom setting. It is equipped with state-of-the-art instruction amenities, including a full-scale immersive street scene, forensics and cyber crime labs, a high-tech command center, and this mock courtroom. The mock courtroom at College of DuPage includes a witness stand, judges' chambers, a jury box, and reconfigurable seating arrangements for prosecutors and defense attorneys. This space is dedicated to a man whose career of distinction is characterized by a love of the law, a commitment to education, and a deep-rooted connection to DuPage County. The Honorable William J. Bauer. The most important of all our professions is teaching. The other professions teach the next generation but they're teaching while they're practicing. Lawyers, doctors, ministers, pick a number. You learn, you teach the next generation, you go on using your skills in two areas, to do what you're trained to do, 
plus teach the next generation. For more information on the College of DuPage Foundation, including available scholarships for COD students, as well as details for donating, visit their pages on the web at cod.edu. Experience COD. Can't wait to start college? You don't have to. COD is close, convenient, and affordable. Our beautiful main campus has much to offer. Exceptional faculty, challenging classes in a broad range of fields and disciplines, plus more than 50 student clubs and organizations. Summer is almost here. For more information, call 630-942-2380 or visit us online at cod.edu. Enjoy the pleasures and comforts of COD's Culinary and Hospitality Center. Check in for a luxury hotel experience at the Inn at Water's Edge. Reserve a table for fine dining at Waterleaf Restaurant. Together, they make for a world-class escape right here in the western suburbs of Chicago. From the very moment our guests enter the building, whether it is to stay in the hotel or for dining at Waterloo Restaurant or both, they can tell they have stepped into something very unique, very special. I am Jean-Pierre Leroux, General Manager of the Inn at Waterloo's Age Hotel and Waterloo Restaurant, both located on the main campus at College of DuPage. I invite you to visit our hotel and our restaurant and experience for yourself that impression and the satisfaction from the first-class service we work hard to provide. The Inn at Waters Edge is a boutique hotel. It has six well-appointed rooms and allows our staff to pay close attention to our guests and provide a world-class experience. The reception desk is staffed 24-7. The lobby is welcoming and comfortable. The two-story fireplace is a favorite space for gathering and relaxing. Access to the hotel floor is private and secure, and their guests will enjoy beautiful, spacious, luxury accommodations, all the comforts and conveniences expected of a first-class hotel. The bathrooms are extraordinary, with walk-in marble showers and backlit mirrors on the vanities. In-room dining is available for lunch and dinner from our signature restaurant, Waterleaf. And a complimentary continental breakfast is served daily in the guest lounge. The floor-to-ceiling windows offer a spectacular view overlooking a lake and picturesque natural landscaping. Really, all of this makes the Inn at Waterloo's Edge such a treasure right here, close to home in a western suburb of Chicago. Another highlight, the fine dining at Waterleaf Restaurant. Waterleaf is an exceptional fine dining option, one of the most sought after reservations in the western suburb and already receiving marvelous reviews. Our patrons appreciate the creativity and flair our executive chef brings to the cuisine. There is a French influence, of course, but with a contemporary appeal that is truly something to experience. Our menu is seasonal, featuring the freshest possible ingredients, locally grown ingredients. We have artisanal cheeses, handcrafted pastas, fresh seafood and steaks. Customers rave about our daily seasonal specials, all prepared with a passion for exquisite cuisine. Your meal is unique, interesting, delicious. And trust me, you do not want to miss the opportunity to sample the opulent desserts, including trio of chocolate, floating island, 
bread pudding and mungo crumble. For cocktails, before or after your meal, we have a very special bar area. Intimate and comfortable, yet may still be a lively social place. Our guests enjoy unwinding near the fireplace, taking in the view or gathering around the bar. To complement your meal, we have an impressive wine list with more than 150 carefully selected varieties and organic blends. Some of the finest wineries from around the world, South Africa, New Zealand, Spain, and excellent domestic from Napa Valley to Long Island are represented in our wine room, allowing us to serve some incredible pairings. In the dining room, there is an atmosphere, comforting ambiance that enhances the dining pleasure. It is elegantly decorated and overlooks the peaceful lake water. The venue is perfect for romantic evenings, gatherings with friends and family, celebrations, business occasions. Combined with the Inn at Brothers Age, our offering suit anyone looking for a five-star experience. From a seasoned traveler to your out-of-town guest to a weekend getaway, I invite you to stay at the Inn at Waterloo's Age and dine at Waterloo's Restaurant. Luxury accommodations and exquisite cuisine, elegant venue with impeccable service, all make for an unforgettable experience. For more information about hotel accommodations and room rates, visit their website at inatwatersedgehotel.com. For more information on Waterleaf Restaurant, including menus and a link for reservations, visit waterleafrestaurant.com. Achieve with COD. Summer is a perfect time to accelerate your degree program at COD. With daytime, evening, weekend, and online offerings, COD is a great option for college and university students looking to complete general education courses, save money, and transfer credits back to their home institutions. For more information, call 630-942-2380 or visit us online at cod.edu. There's always so much happening at College of DuPage. Be sure to watch images every month to stay on top of it all. Until next time, I'm Rio Almaria.